Hello, I'm Aurora Draco, and welcome back to some more Hundred Heroes. Um, last week we actually managed to do quite a bit, we did quite a long stint, um, mainly because there was no save point at one point, but that's the way it is. Um, so I think we're coming to the end of this now. We're right near the end. We'll see what goes. Uh, let's keep moving. Ah! Oh, kicked in. Uh, right, so we need to go to the Great Hall. There you are, Commander. Come now, let's see you look sharp. I'd like to begin the council with a refresher of current events. I sent Sabine and Garu to you, Chris, to do some reconnaissance. Garu, if you would be so kind. <clears throat> Certainly. Oh, and uh, may I mention, it's not often I get to do recon with such a ravishing partner. So long as you don't mind me judging you for it. But dancing ain't my thing, so let me cut to the chase. Haishan is now completely under Imperial control. Oh, my poor people. The tail, huh? I've got a third class thing or three to say about that. Is that how all Gaudians think? I cannot deny some of our countrymen hold such ugly views. It is reprehensible, and I am truly sorry. You ain't the one who needs to apologize. Besides, I'm glad I got to hear it. It'll put a little more rage in my sword. So... How much should we worry that these lens wielders he's recruiting aren't getting a lucrative deal at all? We know Aldrich is trying to weaponize rune lenses and put them into more general use. The dragon we saw on the battlefield is a prime example. At the laboratory where we were held, he used... people to unlock the primal lens's power. He'll... Likely do the same to the other lands bearers who come forward. The Dukes must be stopped before more innocent lives are lost. A pretty thought, but considering the state of our army. The Empire has forged a formidable union with the Revenants and the Kinanis. In comparison, we are still licking our wounds from the last conflict. Some Eucrisians tried to resist the Imperial assault on Haishan, but they were completely overrun. And since fleeing Naristar, King Salus is nowhere to be found. We haven't been able to contact General Electra or Maxim either. Last we saw him, they were holding the rear as we pulled out of Athrobalt. Aye, but you still have we tree folk and the Shi'arks, which, I admit, is likely not enough. Do we have any hope, any means at all, of defeating the Empire in direct conflict? <sighs> None, my lady. So there it is. No hope. Dang it. Okay, so all of that is terrible, but it's not like we're just gonna give up, right? Laying down arms and surrendering is... Well, it's not the worst of our available options. In doing so, we might be able to save the lives of countless soldiers, 
are comrades and friends. What? No. We're not surrendering. No way. Not happening. Cool be. Naturally, another option is to keep fighting. What say you, Commander Noah? I... Okay, back off, all of you! It's wrong to put all of this crap on Noah! It's completely unfair to ask him to decide what to do with that many people's lives! I mean, if it were me, I... I'd be shaking in my boots, all right? Heck, I'd probably collapse on the floor in a little ball of goo and start blubbering like a baby! It's okay, Leon. I appreciate you. I do. But this is a choice I have to make. Somehow. Somehow indeed. Fortunately, we've not received any reports of the Imperial Army marching this way. Why? I know not. Perhaps they don't realize we're here, or perhaps they're waiting for all of their forces to join up first. In any case, you at least have a little time to consider things. Though, the decision must be made. Hmm. Okay, so Can I ask you to pivot your resources and increase our supply of these materials here? Purpose being? It's to bolster the town's defenses. I've designed a few new measures that should give us a fighting chance. My ideas can't hold a candle to Miss Iris's, but I offered what assistance I could. Huh. Give an architect an inch, and she'll take a league. It's all very impressive. But what about this talk of surrender? You're asking for a lot of heavy lifting just to raise a white flag. We don't know what will happen yet, so we prepare. Does this really merit debate? She's right, Guildmaster. I'd rather break my back now and try than regret it later. Ha! I'm ready to hit the ground running if you'd make your damn minds up. What is this? I feel like I tripped and fell into an old memory. All right, all right, protest withdrawn. You just give me your list, and on my guild's honor, I'll make sure we deliver. Can I help you, perhaps?
Organizing the stockroom, Sumire. I sure am! Gotta have things ready to bust out in case Nola and everybody need to run off to war, you know? Bust out. Yeah! Rummaging kills all the pre-battle momentum. I wanna be like, boom, here you go, so they can be like, boom, here we go! I figured that's the best way for me to help. <laughs> well said, Sumire. Something tells me the student is starting to surpass the teacher. Hard. Another group of heroes. I left my village to see the outside world. But for all the ways this place has made my heart sore, I cannot say each day was one of joy. Still, I have learned that good people are out there, if you look. One of them is Noah. But there are so many more. And if these people are not worth fighting for, what is? I will fight Leaf and Frond to protect them. Go, Alliance! Go, Alliance! You'll have the power of the Stone Lion to help you. I didn't become the mightiest of all beast warriors for nothing. Go Alliance! Oh, oh, I'm the. That whippersnapper has already made his mind up. And when he tells me to make my spear sing, I will. Ho ho ho! Perhaps I'll make some real sparks fly like I did in the old days. Marin, you know I would never put you in danger. 
But this is a battle we can't avoid. I know, Wyler. We'll stand. Thanks. I swear on this bow that no matter what comes our destiny has knocked me to its bow, and I am ready to fly true. But will I find my mark? Bubba, -ba. give us a vision. What's gonna happen to us? A vision? Whatever for, child. There should be no question in your heart whom victory will favor. Guys, don't worry. Noah's not gonna throw in the towel. I'll bet my whole box of tools on it. We should just go ahead and start supplying up. Ah, oh, good idea. I'll get these chopping arms pumping and cart back all the lumber we could ever need. You don't need to ask me twice. I'll get you so much ore that you won't know rock from stone anymore. Yeah, okay. You're getting a little wound up. I mean, I'm not saying we won't win, because we will, but... <clears throat> hey, anybody need their bag fixed up? If you're heading out to gather stuff, you don't want to be the only sad sack with a satchel situation. <clears throat> we may not have a lot of time. I think I'll look into scrounging up some more runes. Right. If I want to keep everyone armored, I better start laying in some stock. You won't catch Frida sending her troops out there a pauldron and gauntlet short. You just keep the lenses coming, and I'll keep them purring. I'll stay by the forge day and night and hammer out weapons till my arms fall off, if that's what it takes. Just see if I don't scrounge up the sparkliest, most eye-catching assortment of accessories there is. If there was ever a time to keep the shelf stocked... <laughs> I'm here to do! Not that. Will we notice it? Guys, missing. Nope, we didn't notice, but. Missing a prisoner book, yeah, nothing to report. Your Majesty, what will something? I don't know. Whatever Commander Noah decides, I will never stop fighting to retake you, Chris, and rest. Neither will I. Thank you. Coriel believes. Yes, sir. Boy's got. Hmm. Perhaps so. 
One day, she'll see that I'm not either. What's to become of us, milady? There's no telling what he'll decide. Oh, please. That's the only part that's obvious. You're that certain, then? I don't bet on a losing horse, Melridge. Well said. I, for my part, believe in him, too. I don't know what the fuss is. They have a paragon of magic like me to rise to the occasion. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Yup, it's time for the good guys to smash up evil. It's like that magical tome I read when I was little. Dark lords, epic battles for the fate of the world, and the art was so- Battles like this are what magical girls were made for. See your pre- I don't know what good I'll do but I'm ready to use these meager talents as best I can. Bah, once I hold dominion over the thrall I seek, no army will be able to stand against me. Wow, this looks like Welcome. <laughs> hustle, Collies! Hustle! Our final test be so close, I can smell it! Die for true. No approved is valor to us on the sands. He'll not make the wrong choice now. We must be ready when the order comes. We fight not just for him. I know it's a battle of a lifetime when I seize one. And you won't catch this rising star turning tail. A poem, then. Are we? So... I'm gonna assume that's a rhetorical question. Pull me! What do you mean? 
far as I can tell, Noah isn't the kind of fellow to give up at a time like this. Agreed. So what happens is that we get ready for the battle ahead. This isn't over until we bury the Empire and liberate Yarnan. End of story. Ha! Huh. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for saving me the trouble of coming up with a pep talk. So, everybody already knows the fact. I'm pretty but me. I knew from the day I met Noah that he's somebody you can trust. When my brother and the other village kids were in trouble, he went out of his way to help. He's not going to back down this time either. And neither will I. When Noah dashes into the fray, I'm going to be right by his side. <laughs> my rune lens aches. It calls for battle. I'll be ready to battle too. For the lives of any or we could just not run towards danger but that would be the sensible thing just don't let anyone get killed less than that i can i'll be there to heal so you can focus on the important thing which is ripping those imps into ugly little Welcome. Come by and... Busy, busy, busy. There's so much to do. The troops will need a hearty meal before going to such an important battle. And let's not forget the victory feast. There's not a moment to spare. If we want those tables spilling over with roasts and pies and the rest of it. Don't worry, I'm ready to flex some culinary muscle. The only thing they'll be hungry for when I'm done is more victory. Sometimes all you need to turn things around is a great meal at the right moment. One thing about Noah. That boy never, ever gives up. And that means we've got to pull our weight, too, and help him out. Then I better start picking out my tastiest veggies. Sit tight while I catch you the most fabulous game you've ever... Right. I'll grab my pole and hit the water. Oh, hi, 
縄。In a building mood, are we? Well then... So what happens now? The one group yeah, missed. if the Alliance decides to surrender, what's it mean for us? Well, we certainly won't be going back to the Empire. Unless we want our necks stretched for desertion and treason. But... We could always flee to some remote area, keep the Resistance going from there. There's always a chance sentiment within the Empire will turn against the Dukes. The opposition movement could grow. Even if it comes to that, I'll never stop fighting. Think you could take me with you? It would be extremely dangerous. Oh, I know. But you've all fought so hard for me and my sister. And I want to return the favor. Me too. We... We'll both fight with you. You're very brave, the both... But you don't have to worry, Milu. It won't come to that. How do you know? Because I know him. Not fast enough. <sighs> I see. Well, Noah, have you found your answer? Huh. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about one thing. What's that? Was I the wrong person for this all along? My choices have affected so many people. And it just doesn't feel... right. Cousin, 
Come on, please. When you told us you were forming a resistance army, we pledged our lives to you, remember? There ain't been a moment since that we regretted it. That's right. <laughs> since they regretted it. Yes, sir. We made up our minds that very night. Just so happens you're a man worth risking our lives for. As are the ideals you believe in. So you can stop all this second guessing right now. Your heart knows what is right. It always has. So trust in it. Thank you all. My feelings haven't changed since that night. I feel the same now, even as I stand here blessed with so many new friends. So thank you. I know what to do now. Good. If you're not sure of yourself, your soldiers can't fight. A leader must cling fast to their beliefs. Spectacular. I was wondering when O oh, Great Captain would become O oh, Nearly Excellent Captain. Huh? Wait, I was still only great? Huh? No way! Did Emir just make a joke? Bad form? Nearly excellent form, I'd say. <laughs> now I've truly seen it all. If you're ready, Noah, then lead us onward. Straight and true. So, Commander, have you come to a decision? His face seems to say yes. Noah? <sighs> We're going to keep fighting. We're going to stop the Empire. If there was a way to save all of you by turning away from this, I'd do it. But the Jukes will never allow it. We know what he did to Yelu's village, and what he's beginning to do now in Haishan. He's going to end so many lives. I know what I'm asking of you won't be easy, but it won't be beyond the realm of possibility either. So I say we fight and protect as many people as we can. Now that's what I like to hear. Poopy poo! Yes, yes, I do like the sound of that. Let's rise up and fight again, as when we first defended Haishan. Sharks never shrink from a chance at glory. And this battle will be the most glorious of them all. Here, here. We must put a stop to Aldrich's barbaric reign. See? I knew I chose the right person. That said, what we need now is a strategy. A way to win the war against the Empire. Melridge? With all respect, Commander, that is a ludicrous request. We'd be lucky to defeat the Imperial Army in a single battle, much less a war. 
So it's impossible? The word I used was ludicrous, not impossible. Besides, I know a worthwhile challenge when I hear it. Sounds like you have an idea. First things first. We must reinforce our army by gathering as many of the scattered Eucrisian and Noristari troops as possible. In addition, there is another small military force to whom we might appeal for help. I knew I was asked here for a reason. Something tells me you've had this ludicrous plan in your back pocket all along. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Can we count on the second son of the Fawood clan? Well, I'm none too keen on looking my brother in the eye again, but I guess it's time to swallow my pride. The Elves are likely to be drawn into this conflict sooner or later anyway. Oh, are we? Relax, Lillowin. I'm not gonna punch him in the face this time. Stop. That's not what I... <sighs> so there you have it. Good Alway here will be our emissary to the Elves. Appreciate it. No problem. I'll figure things out somehow. <laughs> Permit me to gather the Eucrisian troops. And the Guardians will get our butts in gear and track down what's left of the Norse stories. Commander Noah, now would be a good time for you to seek out new allies as well. We must act before the Empire makes their next move. Then let's get to work and win this war. Oh, we're going to win, all right. No matter what. <laughs> <laughs>